just climbed up to that ugly section and the drift I was talking about that I need to check out is the one back there and it ran in two directions so got to go scout that out that's the manway or the excuse me the rays or vent shaft that's what I'm trying to say vent shaft that we came down now I was going to go look up here uh, but you remember we looked up on the other side of this where that rail was and it all just slabbed off and uh, was hanging precariously there. So at least I don't need to do that, but I do need to go check out what's back there. Squeeze through that terrible ground there. There's an old tub down there. Ground back here is really bad. As you can see, this is all cave material. Uh, my buddy Jake went and checked out over there. And what'd you say was up there? Um, right there, it starts to raise up about that angle. And it's going up like that. And I think that's the raise. Just ties into what we saw. Really tied into the uh, the main chute down. Okay. Fair enough. And then what's left for me, unfortunately, is this ugly crap right here, which is really tight. It's going to be a belly crawl. But it is my turn, so I'm going to do it. My buddy squeezing through that gap right there. And then... Thought it was just a little stope chamber, which, yeah, it is a stope. See all the quartz overhead and such. It ends there. You can see the quartz there. But look over here. It keeps going. This is a drift level of sorts. Could just be a sub level, but it does go. So gotta check it out. Somebody has been back here. I don't think anybody's been to the lower levels. Uh, where we were, were bottomed out, but that milk jug right there tells you somebody's been here. Not recently, but more than, you know, within a, more recent than 50 years old or whatever. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention it, but I think you feel a little bit of airflow. Huge quartz gallery here. And I can't tell it goes up more to the right, possibly does. It's a ballroom. Yeah, it is a ballroom, of course. That's really cool. And look at these structures here. Look at this mineralization. Look at the size of that pyrite back there. You see that? Wow. Those are huge chunks of pyrite. Hold on, I'll put my finger next to it. My flight doesn't slide away. Stay there, light. Cooperate. That's my finger. Ah, thanks. Isn't that huge? Look at the size of those things. Those are massive. And then you got this cool little band of uh, iron right there. That's really amazing. This is, there's so many indicators here for gold. I am not surprised it's mine. It's as big as it is. Huge. On the way out, I'll just go, uh, go duck up there, make sure there's nothing up there. Just came through there into another large stope here. All this material is caved down. That's not quartz. All this material is caved down. So I'm gonna scramble and see if I can look down the sides. Like it looks like there's something dropping off there, for example. This is all quartz here above me. That's looking pretty good. And then it looked like somebody might have collected some samples here. Yeah, look at those. I mean, that's not cool. Are you catching all the pyrite there? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Still in this chamber here, and oh, look at that slab of quartz right there. There's so much promising geology in here for those that like gold. It's really incredible. It doesn't go anywhere over here. I think that's all caved down, but over here, it drops down. You can see some timbers down there. So I'm going to scramble down and see how it looks down there. Dropped in from there. And more stoping. There's a huge plug on this ore chute here that could slab out. Big quartz vein here. You see what they're running after. The stopes continue in this direction. So don't worry, we will too. And then this drops down and intersects that section we were in before. 
yeah, all this stuff was dropping down to where we were before. We looked up this, if you recall. So that's good. I like connecting dots like that. We just scrambled over through that section. You see the stope continues here. See the vein action. Ah, as I stumble. The vein action. This is all vein. It's probably four feet thick all through here. It ends there, it ends in front of us. And see it's still running through here. And they followed all the way down and that ties into those other stopes that we saw before. You can see some water runs down along there. But yeah, these are the stopes we saw before. I'm amazed how much material has come out of this mine. These stopes are just incredible. What an amazing mine. A little mineral pocket right there. So I'm blowing it out with the light. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Some quartz samples there. Just the scale of this mine, the geology of this mine, all of it is just mind blowing. Mind blowing. Yeah. <laughs> We're back in that middle stope and I missed this mineralization here before. It almost looks like veins. I mean like veins and capillaries in somebody's circulatory system. I don't remember seeing patterns like that before with that dark rock. That's really interesting. Continuing our way up and out, we've climbed up from there and we're in that first decent sized chamber we got to. It's my buddy Jake climbing up there. You remember this one. Standing back there. Now there's this raise here and I didn't go up that one because I was scouting things out down below. But while his weight and my buddy Jake went and checked that one out and he said it just runs up to the top of the stopes where we just were. So you're not missing anything, but we're not going up there. He went and checked it out and that's where it goes. So I'm going to call what we can do at this time and this incredible mine done. Uh, if we get a really incredible drought year or continuation of the drought, we can try taking another crack to those lower levels, but a lot of water would have to disappear for that to be viable. But wow, what I'm just so swept up in the enthusiasm for this mine, for the all this incredible quartz. There's just so much quartz here and uh, the mineralization and all of it. Just the surprise of finding it in that little hole. Incredible. Came down from that way. This is the wet flooded drift. I'll show you in a second. Water is down. We could have done it in rubber boots. This is where we thought there was a collapse. There wasn't. That leads up, you'll see that. Took an immediate left, ended up in this chamber. Took some dynamite boxes. And that's about it. You see the vein there, or there. Um, the uh, just ore all over the ground. It's almost like sandy gravel. I'll climb back here for a quick reference. Okay, so that's where we came from. This is the flooded drift I went down in just mine boots last time. The water was over 16 inches. Got in my boots, so you can see the watermark there. This is not a collapse, it's just stuff coming down a ore pass. We'll probably climb up there, check it out a little bit. And then there's a drift that way. We'll check out now. And moving forward. It's like a lot of material's been filling in here with coming in with the water over the years. Around soft, but not bad. Good echo in here. See the uh, 
the rail ties. Still going. Yeah, every time you leave your pack behind, you get something good that goes. This is just a little stoked out pocket. All right, getting back in the water. Kind of nasty looking water. That might be the end. Yeah, looks like some big chunks. Going nice and slow, because we don't know where there's more winds in here. Whoa, just tripped over something big in the water. All right. These are some big chunks of rock. And we could squeeze through here and look, so I guess we'll turn the camera off and get up in there. Okay, squeezed up through there. It wasn't too bad. Drift does keep going, it looks like. This is just another pocket. It doesn't seem to connect with the upper stopes. So... Let's slide down this vault and see if it keeps going. It doesn't really look much like a drift anymore. No. At the bottom of the stove. Well, we'll go until we can't go anymore. Oh no, it's good. Back to drift. Back to drift. Yeah, Justin's gonna regret missing today. This is our third trip into this mine, waiting for the water to go down. Oh, nice. Dynamite boxes, and I can read the logos. Atlas Powder Company, Wilmington, Delaware. Not Hercules. Looks like that looks like the remnants of dynamite, and that's got a lid on it, so that might be a full box. Oh yeah. Feels full? That is neat. I've only found full boxes once before. And that was extremely lucky. There were 36 of them. So check that on the way out, see if I can pull a date. Oh more. More yep, uh, we're the first down here in quite a while. Let's see a date on the case, but we'll probably pop one of these lids because the, the sticks usually have the date on them. All right, we got the lid off and it looks way better than we thought. So this is not our first time. We're very familiar with very old dynamite, especially dynamite that's been soaking for a very long time but yeah we can read these instructions different than the hercules smaller mm -hmm. piece of paper Let's see if we can get that on camera all right hopefully it's wet enough that we don't get another nitro headache trying to get some better lighting here okay i'm gonna flip it see on the back but very nice okay let's, let's see what we can find for a date these are probably newer than what we've seen before so we're going to be a little extra careful pertinent, pertinent information here as the second don't we have don't leave explosives in a wet or damp place yeah because they don't work cool, dry, well ventilated I am not seeing a date. They are 40%. It's a little stronger than what we usually see. We usually see 30. Special gelatin. All right, so I guess no date. Huh. And usually the date's pretty critical because they expire after a year. 
So you gotta use them pretty quickly. They can't just sit around. And uh, this mine effectively closed in the 30s, officially in the 50s, but I don't think they were doing much of any blasting after the 30s, so. No dates on here either. And a lot of the boxes we see from the 50s to 60s are typically more cardboard. So if I had to guess, I'd say 30s, but that's just making an assumption. All right, we'll head back to the drift. All right, there's Jake coming back from that drift with the dynamite boxes. There's our origin point. Continuing on. Vein overhead. All right, it's like another potential little stope or ore shoot. Oh yeah, this is going to be nasty to climb over. Climb over we must because it keeps going, so we'll pick this up down the road. Okay, made it through that squeeze. That was not easy. Got kind of disgusting. Don't really like it too because whatever this stove or ore shoot is, it's just an infinite amount of small loose material, so if that comes down, it's not real good. So, let's press on. This has already gone a lot further than I anticipated. That looks potentially insurmountable. Oh wow, there's roots here and dirt. This looks like a collapse door. Oh, yeah. And a chain. Yeah, the frame. Are we at a portal? Unless it was an air door. Why would you chain it? Usually it's just a latch. True. And these roots and dirt are really... Uh, oh, true. Yeah. Make you look the at the roots, point. we got to be near the surface. Mm -hmm. I have no idea where this would be. Could be the number eight, which we haven't even located the portal on the surface there's a timber set there and more dirt past it it's got to be an attic oh, i'll poke a little closer but it looks like that's the end and justin's got video of everything else unless the water level at the next level down is receded then we can keep going otherwise this is it adding to our theory this is the surface right beyond here at a portal uh he's seeing bark a lot of topsoil material and we got this cute little guy. Pine cones. Pine cones, if you didn't hear that. That's a good sized salamander. He must have got in here somehow. Yeah, well, we're not getting out this way, but it's cool to know. That we're, we must be real close if there's a gate right there. That's the drift above us we came in on. And we're in that area that was flooded before. There is the grizzly thing. It does look like a grizzly. That is an ore chute below it. And that is the drift right there. And Jake said it's like 10 by 10, which is what I would expect number nine to look like. And there's a good echo and it seems to go forever. Problem is it's a 10 plus foot drop down there. The water is only inches deep, but the there's a ladder there. The first rung gave out, so I don't know if we'll be able to get down there without coming back with a rope. Problem.